It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Giants and the Silver and Black. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, it's year four of this wonderful building now, and it's going to host the Super Bowl come February. Fans of the Silver and Black certainly hoping their guys will be a part of it. But this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game since the 2002 season. But they should be firmly focused on getting back to the playoffs. They have the team that can do that. Defensively, they get after the quarterback. Great pass rush. And now they have a new leader of quarterback, and they expect to put some points on the board. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. But the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be, someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Now Jones. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for eight yards. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now the NFC's leading rusher season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and one. Throwing Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost. Bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing... You want to make him think, show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps, and try to make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. Here's a second and eight. Jones with a handoff to Barkley, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love the blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. They'll lead the 39 here for a first. This is 
third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 24-yard line. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. First down carry for Barkley. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, here's Barkley. Powers through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a solid pickup, eight yards, but work still to do now on third and goal. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Back to throw. Jones. Now he finds Shepard. Touchdown. Giants. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Giants are on the board first here in Vegas. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time, and you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. Bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Try to run for it with Jacobs. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. It's spotted at the 14-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Jones on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Tyree Wilson using that athletic ability to make the play. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines are raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. Here's Jamie Gillendale. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Dexter Lawrence that time in on the stop. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Throwing, O'Connell. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially 
if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with fourth down and one. And the first play will be a field goal try. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through. So a good return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only must have three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. They'll try the right side here. Barkley, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Looking to throw, Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Shepard. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Operating from the gun. Jones. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. The 
Quick throw out wide, caught by Robinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now a second and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. It's a one-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10.
They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. From the 34-yard line, here's second and three. Back to throw, O'Connell. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. O'Connell on first and ten. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Over the middle, complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 39. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. To throw here, O'Connell. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley... And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Spillane, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Oh, this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so it's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw him. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. And now here come the Raiders. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. The Raiders into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Now O'Connell. That's the mayor, the tight end. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And O'Connell now to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. That's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape for the first and goal. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They mash a hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson taken at the goal line and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive and he's well on his way to a 100 yard game he's already more than halfway there we're only in the second quarter and what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you I had no idea how many yards I had right those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100 he's been working well towards 100 here They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He finds Robinson. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 21 yards there on third down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts 
as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. The quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball, receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. To throw once more on second and 10. Jones, and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Again, he'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and this will stay a four-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, Here thanks is the as always. always dangerous this one's still on anyone's Barkley game as we the welcome you back first half. for quarter number three. He had three. a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action no return here for carter and this will be a touchback the raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter so out of the locker rooms here they come their first drive of the third quarter and charles they're trailing in this ball game but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half and as we know partner in the nfl there's trailing and there's trailing right sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down but in this case this is a tight ball game so there's a sense of optimism here i think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said these are the plays we really like what do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The throw over the middle, take it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Over the middle. That's caught by Adams. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this down inside the 40. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They will run the draw with Jacobs. Gets past one man. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Running lens run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down at a yard. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down at inches. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Jacobs going to try the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 40 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's O'Connell. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. We have to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now it's O'Connell. Touchdown, Raiders! Austin Hooper from 13 yards out. And the Raiders have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. 
They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed. Way harder to cover than before. O'Connell's throwing for it. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Paris Campbell now on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's off the mark, incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Second and 10 now from the 27. Throwing Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense. And right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. First down throw, O'Connell. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Play action. Now O'Connell. Throw out left, caught by Mayer. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be an occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. 
Here's a hand off to Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Back to throw, O'Connell. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. Second down and six now. Back to throw. Jones. Short throw. Going to be caught by Waller. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. It's not cool about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A yard off. Third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. The 71 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. It's Barkley on the counter. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Jones now to throw on third down. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, We'll call this play significant. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The rookie Tyree Wilson, a first round pick there to bring him down. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome everybody. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Running again with Barkley on second down. 
And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Now Jones on third down. He dumps it off to Barkley. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Raiders offense ready to go. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. O'Connell looking to throw on first. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine now from the 21. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Got a man, it's Mayer. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Open man right side, Myers. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. Off the option, here's Jacobs. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 34. 49 yards rushing for him now at this point. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they get five there on third and two. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we've got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down. It. And it's complete to Adams. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Jacobs 
Will get down close to the goal line, but not in, as he'll be marked down at the one. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Jacobs again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backward. Fourth down now after a loss of two. And now here in this situation, a field goal would still have him only up by one score, so I would think about going for it. Even if you don't get in, you put your defense in a really nice spot, making the offense go the long way to try and score. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Jones throw complete here to Waller. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Off play action. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we took about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, O'Connell. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. 
Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Every yard they gain, getting them better and better field position, and obviously a field goal makes this a two-score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play caller, he's not looking to the attack portion of his sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have that's going to keep us in a good spot? No lost yardage plays. Let's get the field goal and go up two scores. If you score a touchdown, great, but that's not what you're really playing for. I know there, wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Jacobs. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll run it with Jacobs. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll run with Jacobs. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one's CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Sets up to kick this away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So now Jones and the Giants down by 11. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Jones. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. They'll try again here, second and ten. Jones. Pass complete to Shepard, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and ten here. 
Jones going to get this one complete to Saquon. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Gets this to Waller. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. This is first and 10. To throw is Jones. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's Jones. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. They're going to run it with Barkley. But he will not get in here. He stepped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. You know, sometimes the guy on the defensive side of the ball, he just has a good feeling or a good read, and he unleashes defense on that one. Boy, they stopped him in a big way. Yeah, I hate to be cliche, but sometimes we overanalyze. They just have more want. Looked like they had more want right there. More want and more people to the ball. So with an even 30 seconds to go, everything will come down to this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. The Raiders heading out to take over. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talked so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins and who loses. Loses this game no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the